Washington University and St. Louis Children's Hospital truly have a long-standing history of contributions to the field of diabetes. Children's Hospital was the first place in the United States that insulin was administered to a child, and much of that came out of research that involved the discovery of ways to mass-produce insulin. And uh, since that time, we have continued uh, to contribute in, in some of the largest and most important studies that have been done in the area of diabetes. The integration of, of basic science translational and clinical research is, is unparalleled, I think, at Washington University. And not only does it occur, it happens effortlessly. We have a, a program that is meant to take laboratory findings into the clinical setting and do it in a, in a very scientific and appropriate way, the so-called bench to bedside. Our current project in Wolfram's, I think, is, is a perfect example. Wolfram syndrome is the most difficult form of diabetes. Patients with Wolfram syndrome develop juvenile onset diabetes. In addition, they develop optic nerve atrophy, which leads to vision loss. They also develop neurodegeneration, which makes them difficult to control their movement, even breathing. Sometimes it makes me feel like a little bit mad because when my blood flow, I feel really shaky and I get headaches a lot. Many patients die by the age of 30, and there is no treatment to delay the progression of this disease. No drug company is interested because this is such a rare disease. To overcome this challenge and fulfill unmet medical need, we have established Wolfram Syndrome program. When Raquel was first diagnosed in 2010 with Wolfram Syndrome, and that's when Raquel started in on these yearly um, Wolfram patient clinics. And what they do is they just get a baseline of information, which is so vital in order to try to find a drug therapy to get out for these kids. The infrastructure, Washington University Medical Center, including St. Louis Children's Hospital, is a very strong structure to do clinical research. So we can recruit patients, and we can collect biological samples, and we can analyze DNA information. So this is very important for us to develop novel treatments for Wolfram syndrome. The uh, close inter integration and interaction between clinicians and, and scientists is really where this place excels. The academic environment here is devoted to integrating clinical care and teaching of students and, re and residents with the academic mission of research. Our fellowship program at Washington University has a broad base in clinical skills and it's combined with um, one-of-a-kind chances to do research in basic science or clinical science in the field of endocrinology. I currently work with Dr. Ureno. The best part of the fellowship program at Washington University for me has been um, the rich research environment that Washington University provides, along with the supportiveness of the pediatrics department in fostering a career in early research for young investigators like myself. We made a major discovery last year. So we, we discovered a drug target for Wolfram syndrome, and we could find a one drug that may be able to delay the progression of the disease. To be able to, to have that, that discovery and then be able to see the patient who benefits from that doesn't happen every day, but when it does happen, it, it is so rewarding. And being able to watch the next generation of trainees and seeing them uh, benefit from that environment and be able to think about new ideas and have the tools available for them here at Washington University, so it's all right there in front of them. I don't see a medical school that does a better job at collaboration between multiple departments and multiple investigators. Every parent wants to have the best medical care possible. You don't really understand that until something goes wrong with your child. We can provide hope to our patients. Patients can see hope, and their families can see hope, and their physicians can see hope. When you walk in through these doors, you know you're going to be taken care of, and they're, they're, they're top-notch doctors, there's top-notch scientists, all working for the betterment of your child to help these kids, you know, live a long, healthy, happy life. 
at the end of the day, it's, it's that hug from the patient, it's that smile that I see um, in my daily interactions with those patients that, that drive me to continue my research. And I, can, that, I think that that same theme applies to all of the researchers that are here.